Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Clock Tower. It's your boy Kyogre Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. We are picking off right after we visited Helen, uh, and she mentioned that she was looking for the statue, but she wasn't sure if it was sent to Rick or someone else. So we came up with the suggestion that, yo, maybe I'll go check with Nolan to see if he can investigate Rick further or if he knows who that is. So what we did last episode was we let Nolan, we asked Nolan to uh, look Rick up, basically. And that was the wrong move because we got the, uh, we got ending E, let's say that. And here we are going to select the opposite option of what we selected initially. No. This time we're selecting no. Last time we chose yes. Thank you for offering, but Helen is looking for it now. <laughs> okay, no problem. But if you ever need help, just let me know. Thank you, Nolan. Scenario 2, Edward. Oh, this is new. Let's see what we have here. Madam? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? Hmm, he is now in the head librarian's office. I see, thank you. No, you're welcome, no nothing. All right, then. That's a very annoying clock. Well, if it isn't little Eddie, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. I don't trust homeboy. Lost his memory. Seems a little too convenient for me, mate. The reading room. It cannot be entered without a key. But I want to read too. I am sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Okay, do we, do we go in? Hmm, I kind of want to check out. I mean, we could probably still do it, but nah, let's not be awkward. Hello, Helen. Has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room so you can... Use the reference materials as... You please. 
The reading room is right next door. Oh, and, uh, the statue. Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Neat. I could take it now if you want, so I don't have to bother you on my way out. Question is, do I explore a little bit more, or... I don't get the option to, so fuck it. It's locked. Oh. Well, it would be nice if you just automatically use the up items from your inventory, instead of me going half to the top, select the item, and then use it on something. At least be consistent with it, is what I'm saying. The reading room. There are many valuable works here, only available to university personnel. I just hope there is something here that will... Explain the scissorman. <laughs> Fuck, man. It doesn't seem to be in this area. Step ladder. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. What? You don't want to do nothing with the step ladder, bro? Well, you're not giving me much options here, mate. Did I miss something? Save my game real quick. Okay. That's a bit pixel perfect on a game that's not super whatever. Books relating to England are here. Great. Uh, so, would you like to use the fucking stepladder? There you go. Lords of Northern England. This is it! Excuse me, miss, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. I found a clue about Scissorman. I still have to pick up the statue, though. Let's not forget that. Strange. The clock is chiming. Yo, the statue, my G. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen! It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. Well, I will go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. Bam, like. Hasn't been working for ages. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Oh, no. Mr. Sullivan? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh my god, okay. That is pure chaos. Open the fucking door, lass. Where do I go? Where do I go? Down. Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Whoa, 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 whoa. Open the door. Um, what the hell? Is he dead? Or she- she's- what? 
Open the fucking elevator doors, thank you. Now, can I hide? Fucking! What the hell is it doing? Hide. Hide, ma. Hide! Fucking idiot. Closer to the edge. She is pissing me off. Okay. So. We go back up. We gotta get the statue. This is the library clerk I just saw. Oh my fucking god! I can't hide again. I can't hide there again. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I am dead. This time I'm dead. Holy shit, man. We're playing with fire. Okay, let's try that again. Doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago, literally three people. Okay, shut up. He can't still be here. I don't like that. See if I can get the statue real quick. Or did he lock his door? He didn't. Right. There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan himself. The image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. Mm. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of those envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside, but I cannot resist. I wonder if there was anything else. I wonder that too. Just a trash can. So are you implying that there might be something else? Oh. A key is inside the drawer. You now have the collection room key. I am sure the collection room is in the back. Okay. I kind of want to go up and check what... If there is anything we missed up there, but... Now I can enter the collection room. Don't take a step back from the door, you dummy! The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. He was very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it is pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium in here? 
I could use the light from it right there. Uh, it feels like the light switch is right there, but the game is directing me elsewhere. I'm sorry. Oh my god, you are kidding. <gasps> are you fucking serious? Oh, is that just... It's just a replica. It's just a replica. Ma, it's just a... Wasn't it? I'm going back, fuck you. <laughs> but how did it fucking get in there though? It was locked, mate! I don't understand! Run. This is so annoying. Oh, 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 oh. Hide, ma. Hide! Hide! I'm dead. This is the third time I'm hiding here, dude. I am dead! That is insane. We have ditched him three times by hiding at the same spot. Then there is the room in the back right there. I'm wondering where it leads. Should we check it out? Let's do it. There is nothing that seems useful. A clerical desk in perfect order. I'll bet everyone has gone home. A rather primitive copier. They are obviously having budgetary problems here. Too, just like at the... University. Judgmental much. Any files that would be important for us? No? Fuck it then. So there was no reason for me to be in here, honestly. Okay. Which we, we go again. We go again, boys. We go again. Open the fucking thing. Okay, ready? Here's what we do. I mean, if he's not gonna find me back there, then, you know, I'll just keep on hiding at the same spot. But I don't understand. I, I could have sworn that was like a replica in the collection room because the door was locked and the key was in the drawer. So I don't understand. Whatever, dude. Maybe he has something on his person. Maybe I missed something. Uh, okay. Fuck that. Nope. Good. No, 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 no. Don't you fucking dare, Helen. Helen! Don't you fucking dare, Helen! Get the fuck down, Helen. Helen! Oh, you motherfucker, you. Helen, I swear to God, you are so fucking trash! Edward. Edward. I hate this shit. She's so stupid. I told her to go down. She didn't want to do it. Look at you now. I'm going back down again. No, nope, fucking idiot. This is so frustrating. This is so frustrating. Everything is a death trap. Oh, 
Whatever. Hiding here for the fourth fucking time! Neat! You know me, man. I'm stubborn as a motherfucker. So... So does this imply that... Edward is involved? Or in cahoots? With the scissor man? As I know, he can't be scissor man. You fucking shitty hidey hole bastard. Operation panel of the big, something is written on it. You have discovered hint seven. I, I can't read these hints, dude! Oh, whatever. Whatever. That's fine. That is fine. Giving me hints that I can't even read? What am I missing? Okay. Let's do what we came here to do. Get the fucking statue and move on. Please don't be in there. Please. There it is. Can I can, please game? Thanks. That's not what I selected, was it? But whatever. Mr. Sullivan probably left it here. The statue is together with other artifacts. Thank goodness. There it is. You now have the statue. Great. Since I have what I came for, all I have to do now is find a way out. Front door? Front door, probably. Anything else? Oh my god, you are kidding me! You fucking idiot! I hate you so much. Woo! Open the door. Open the door. Open the fucking door now. No, not that one. This one, this one, this one. Open the door, open the door, open the door now! Open the door now! Quicker than that, love! Fuck me! <sighs> Fifth time is a charm. Or, I, we, we're gonna hope that it continues to be a charm for the fifth time. Rather. This is the best hidey hole spot in any game ever created. So, is there nothing else in the reading room?
Okay. Fuck my life. Do I just leave? I've been locked in, of course. I could have assumed that. That's fine. I have an idea, an inkling, a hunch of where to go. That's fine. Run, Ma. Run. So, this is the reading room, yes? I would assume... Here? A vent. If it were only a little bigger, I might have been able to get through. So you're telling me that you cannot. Okay. What else can I do though? A small rickety old disc used by many researchers. Hmm. Did I miss something in the collection room mayhaps? This is kind of annoying. Or is there something over to that side? Doubt. Everything is normal here. Good to know. Okay, I, I'm gonna fuck with fire and go back in here. <sighs> Regret. Regret is in the air. Pick up one of them. I don't know what you want me to do. Honestly. I would like to go that way. Is it possible? No. No way. Nothing over there. Now you said you could hear Edward's voice in here, but... Honestly? How, where, how, I have no fucking clue. No reaction that the body is gone. Um, yep, it's covered with rust. Fine and all, but there is nothing I can do. Do I maybe go back down to the first floor where the, um, where the budgetary copier is? Is that what you want me to do, game? Cause I feel like that's the only thing remaining, honestly. Where the fuck is Eddie? I don't care what you have to do. You, you break that shit if you have to, fam. Break that shit if you have to. Just get the fuck out. What are you doing? Um. Instead of hoping, can we just verify? Terrible.
Edward, I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. I am danger though. Everything I do attracts that fucking scissor maniac. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Okay. Be a good boy and don't worry. We'll make it. Yeah, about that. I mean, he could probably, you know, sneak in and out. A vent. Oh, no. Yes, you could. <sighs> okay. Go back down again. Was there a toolbox or anything? I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh, thank God. A police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Many policemen are swarming outside looking for a way in. There are so many people. Just on the other side of the door. There you go. They could bust through, just riddle the damn door with bullets or, you know, anything. Anything will fucking do. And now we can't even hear the sirens, which is great. Awesome. A screwdriver, a screwdriver. Where could I find a fucking screwdriver, dude? Are you certain? Great. A screwdriver. Great. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, let's go back up. This scenario was pure ass, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Screwdriver. On you. Neat. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. What about me? Do I hide under the table until he... The amount of times that I have gone in and out of these doors is insane! I don't like the fact that you're controlling my character for me! What the fuck, ma? Hey, teach. What's going on? Shut the fuck Teach, up. Hang in there. That's Professor Teach to you. 
Jesus Christ, that was the most ass scenario I have played up to this point. Finally, man. Yo, I'm calling it an episode. I'll catch you guys next episode, man. I'm out of here. Love y'all and deuces. Fuck me.